Hi, I'm Gitanjali Yadav and I'm a member of the Indian National Young Academy of Science, the INAS. This video clip is an introduction to the hugely successful online internship program that we've conducted with the Department of Science and Technology, Rajasthan. Eight weeks ago, the DST Rajasthan, actually Dr. Manu Sikarwar from the DST Rajasthan got in touch with us, with INIAS, to uh, ask whether we would be interested in collaborating on the CARIA project. So CARIA is an acronym for Knowledge Augmentation Through Research in Young Aspirants. And these young aspirants are especially undergraduates and postgraduates from state-funded colleges and universities. These are students who could not undergo a regular summer training program because of the COVID-19 situation and the global lockdown. And the idea of remotely online mentoring these children, these students came up with, came up as an experimental um, you know, alternative. Now I work at the India-UK interface as a DBT Cambridge lecturer. Uh, in India, my host institution is the National Institute of Plant Genome Research, New Delhi, a DBT organization. And in the UK, I am a lecturer at the university at the University of Cambridge Department of Plant Sciences. So we decided, with encouragement from my colleagues in both of these uh, affiliated host institutions of mine, uh, we decided to take on five Inyas Karya trainees. The best part was that the Karya trainees, um, the Karya students connected with and were mentored by my other students in the group, especially those that, have, that were selected through a national program of the Summer Research Fellowship Scheme by the Indian National uh, Indian Science Academies. And uh, so these are called the SRFP programs and the Fast SF programs essentially. Much of the cementing of all of these relationships between the Karya students, the INYAS uh, trainees, and our uh, science fellowship, uh, science academies uh, interns, happened through my Cambridge colleague, Dr. Peter Murray Rust. And you will see in the videos that we've put together today how well these diverse backgrounds and cultures, um, you know, cemented with each other over the over a matter of just about four weeks, and especially how all of these kids found ways to learn from each other and to motivate each other in their own ways. We were trying to teach, the entire idea was to teach computational biology. I'm a computational biologist. So we were trying to teach them some computational biologists, uh, some computational biology. And uh, the idea was to be able to, you know, impart something to the students from remote rural Rajasthan, many of whom had no prior experience in speaking in English or even had any access to a, to a device, a, a laptop, leave alone high end workstations that you usually connect with computational biology uh, projects or, or internships. But all of these kids turned out to be so brilliant at extracting knowledge from literature under the open virus program that you will hear more about directly from them uh, very soon. The girl who could interact only in Hindi is now presenting the at weekly lab meetings in perfect English. The boy who had no access to a laptop or a, or a computer borrowed a smartphone smartphone from his friends and he was able to edit dictionaries and create sparkle queries online. The shy intern whom from uh, from a South, a South Indian University who was not able to speak at all in Hindi and could only talk to us in English has now devised a way to, to connect with experts on, on Twitter to update Wikidata in regional languages. And the two twin sisters from Banaskali are developing mini projects on viral epidemics. The introvert sick boy turned out to be a media savvy science film director and he's the one who has put this entire clip together as, and I, I hope you'll enjoy it indeed. But I am only keeping you away from our real heroes, these students, these interns of ours. Personally, I've been incredibly uh, pleasantly surprised beyond my wildest dreams that they've been able to achieve so much in such little time. But I've got to thank Peter most of all, and indeed uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar Sharma, the uh, chair of Enyas, Manu Sekharwar from the DST Rajasthan, NIPGR, Karya, our India UK Tigris program, the DBT, of course, the University of Cambridge, and the Indian uh, Science Academy Summer Research Fellowship program for, for getting us where we are today. What a collaboration, Sergi. Over to these kids now and wishing them all a very happy and bright future ahead. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Sana Sefi from the Alsin College, Delhi University and I am currently the summer intern at Indian Academy of Sciences working under Dr. Gitanjali Yadav and Dr. Peter Murray Rust on the topic knowledge extraction from literature. 
हमारी दुनिया महामारी यानी कि पैंडमिक से पीड़ित है पीड़ित थी और आगे भी होती जाएगी एक महामारी अचानक से उत्पन्न होती है जिसमें मेडिकल नॉलेज साइंटिफिक नॉलेज हमारी एक सोर्स बन के मदद करता है उसके बारे में जानकारी देने के लिए कोविड नाइन्टीन के आ जाने से कई इंसानों को ये महसूस हुआ वैज्ञानिकों को ये रियलाइज़ हुआ कि आपके और मेरे जैसे कई लोगों के पास एक साइंटिफिक नॉलेज या पेपर पढ़ने के लिए इजी एक्सेस नहीं है जिससे हमें उसकी जानकारी मिल पाए तो इसके चलते अमेरिका के वैज्ञानिकों ने 5000 से भी ज़्यादा रिसर्च पेपर आर्टिकल साई हब को एज अ ओपन सोर्स दिए ओपन सोर्स जो सबको एक्सेसिबल होते हैं लेकिन बहुत सारी वजहों की वजह से ये पॉसिबल नहीं हो पाया जो फाइल थी वो डॉट जे एस ओ एंस में थी या फिर वो जितनी भी बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटीज़ थी उनके पास थी सो इट वॉज़ नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर पीपल लाइक मी एंड यू टू गेट एक्सेस टू दोज पेपर्स दीज पेपर्स जो हमें मिलते भी थे देवर ऑफ नो यूज़ बिकॉज देवर बैडली पब्लिश सो अवर प्रोजेक्ट ऑन विच वी ऑल आर वर्किंग इज़ टू प्रोवाइड यू एन इंटीग्रेटेड रिसोर्स यूजिंग मॉडर्न टूल्स सच एज आर जावा नाइम पाइथन विकी डेटा विकीपीडिया स्पागल एंड मैनी आदा सो दैट वी हैव एन ओपन सोर्स फॉर एवरी वन इन विच द इंफॉर्मेशन इज इजीली एक्सेसिबल सो माई मिनी प्रोजेक्ट इज जोनोसिस इन विच डिजीज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्राम फ्राम एनिमल्स टू ह्यूमन्स एंड The whole process is in this video, which my fellow interns and colleagues will tell you. Greetings. This is Amreen Hamdani, PhD scholar from Sher-e Kashmir University of Agricultural Sciences and Technology of Kashmir. And being a part of the Open Virus Project is indeed a remarkable experience for me. The Open Virus team is committed to create a single entry point for searching open literature. and my project is about viral epidemics and countries this includes the creation and maintenance of the country dictionary and using state of the art tools like get papers amy amy dix etc for mining scientific art- articles we are also using advanced machine learning tools like natural language processing to find useful inferences from published papers and present them as lucidly as possible this shall contribute to the development of a coherent knowledge tool so as to prevent and control viral epidemics especially in countries which are more vulnerable i am really grateful to nipgr new delhi and the indian academy of sciences for this wonderful experience an opportunity to be mentored by great minds like dr gitanjali yadav dr peter murray rust and other great scientists from across the world is indeed remarkable My enthusiastic and energetic co-interns make this internship a joy ride for me. Every day presents with exciting new opportunities for doing actual science, for getting inspired to do more with a firm belief that good, reliable and open knowledge is a must so that we can together progress to save the world. Together we can make the world a little better and together we can transform the current crisis into something good. Hello everyone my name is Karina and I am a senior postgraduate student in botany it has been more than 2 months since i joined the project open virus the project aims to develop knowledge resources and tools in order to tackle the covid-19 outbreak the purpose of this project is to use tools such as r java text mining to create a modern integrated resource consisting of public publications on viral epidemics so as a start i started collecting publications on viral epidemics and then to transform them into a uniformly sectioned and classified data further into the project i was given a mini project on viral viruses in viral epidemics and my goal was to extract data on those viruses particularly vertebrate viruses that can or have caused a viral epidemic As a start I used a tool called get papers to create a corpus of 950 research papers on viruses in viral epidemics then I created a dictionary on viruses using a software called amy in addition I have been carrying out classification sectioning and searches in my data for better understanding 
I also have been documenting all my work, all my progress, and even the blockers which I face on the GitHub Open Virus Wiki page. Wiki page, and uh, I, along with my team, have made great progress till now. And uh, we conduct bi-weekly Zoom meetings, and we discuss our progress and any issues which we might have faced during the work. And uh, Working with Open Virus has given me a huge technology boost, as well as a great learning experience as a team. And uh, I am—it is overwhelming to work and learn at the same time. And I would like to thank everyone for providing this opportunity. Thank you. Hello, Makale. Welcome. Now, let's meet the Priyanka. We are going to learn about the Kerala Padikkara Second Year B.Tech student. In the project Open Virus, Lana SRFP Valiya Interna Sender. நம்ம ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஓப்பன் வைரஸ் ஒரு மென்பொருள் சார்ந்த ப்ராஜெக்ட் இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டோட பேர் அதை பற்றின முழு விவரத்தையும் சொல்லுது அதாவது ஓப்பன் என்ற வார்த்தை மத்திய வெளியிடப்பட்ட திறந்த அணுகல் கட்டுரைகள் மீட்டெடுப்பதை குறிக்குது வைரஸ் என்ற வார்த்தை வைரஸ் செல்லனா வைரஸ் தொற்றுநோய் சம்பந்தமான கட்டுரைகளை மட்டுமே எடுப்பதை குறிக்குது அதோட இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டில் எடுத்த கட்டுரைகளை வகைப்படுத்தவும் பிரிவுகள் உருவாக்கவும் சிறு குறிப்பு எடுக்கவும் இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டோட மென்பொருள் கருவிகள் உதவுது மென்பொருள் பற்றின விவரங்களை கிட்ட கூட ஓப்பன் வைரஸ் டெபாசிட்டரியில் பதிவேற்றம் பண்ணுறோம் இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டில் என்னோட பங்களிப்பு மென்பொருள் கருவிகளோட சோதனையாளராகவும் முதன்மை சோதனை முடிவாக இருக்க போகிற ஒரு மெனி ப்ராஜெக்டை செயல்படுத்துகிறாகவும் இருக்குது நான் முதல்ல யூரோப் பிஎம்சிலேருந்து ஓப்பன் ஆக்ஸ் ஆர்டிகல்ஸை மென்பொருள் கேட் பேப்பர்ஸ் மூலமாக எடுத்து ஒரு தொகுப்பாக ரெடி பண்ணேன் இந்த தொகுப்பை கிட்டப்புக்கு பதிவேற்றம் பண்ணேன் அடுத்ததாக நான் விகிரேட்டாவையும் எமிடேட் என்ற மென்பொருளையும் பயன்படுத்தி டிசீஸ் என்ற டிக்ஷனரி உருவாக்குனேன் இது வரைக்கும் எட்டு டிக்ஷனரிஸ் டிசீஸ் டிக்ஷனரியை சேர்த்து இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டில் உருவாக்கப்பட்டிருக்கு விகிரேட்ட அடையாளங்களோட சேர்த்து எல்லா தனிப்பட்ட டிக்ஷனரிக்கும் ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட மூணு இருக்கு உதாரணத்துக்கு ஐசிடி குறியீடுகள் டிசிஸ் டிக்ஷனரிக்கு மட்டுமே உரியது இந்த உருவாக்குற டிசிஸ் டிக்ஷனரியில் எடுத்த கட்டுரைகளில் பிரிவுகள் உருவாக்க எமி செக்ஷனையும் டேட்டா டேபிள்ஸ் உருவாக்க எமி சர்ச்சையும் பயன்படுத்தின இதெல்லாம் வெறும் முதல் கட்டு சிறு குறிப்புகள் தான் அடுத்ததாக உண்மை பொய் நேர்முறை அதாவது வைரஸ் மற்றும் வைரஸ் இல்லாத கட்டுரைகள்னு ரெண்டாம் வகைப்படுத்த மிஷின் லேர்னிங் டெக்னிக்ஸை பயன்படுத்தப்படும் இப்போதைக்கு பைத்தான் லாங்குவேஜ் மட்டும்தான் மிஷின் லேர்னிங்கு பயன்படுத்தும் அடுத்த திட்டங்கள் முதல்ல எடுத்த கட்டுரைகளை வரைபடுத்த சிறு குறிப்பாக தொகுக்க போகிறோம் அடுத்ததா உருவாக்குன டிக்ஷனரிஸா இந்திய மொழிகள் இருக்க பன்மொழி டிக்ஷனரிஸா முன்னேற்ற போகிறோம் எஸ்ஆர்எஃப்பி டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டியில் தேர்ந்தெடுத்த இந்தியன் அகாடமி ஆஃப் சயின்ஸுக்கு நன்றி இதில் இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டில் இன்டர்னாக சேர்த்து விட்ட ப்ராஜெக்ட் கோஆர்டினேட்டர் அண்ட் என்னோட இன்டர்ன் கை டாக்டர் கீதாஞ்சலி யாதவுக்கு ரொம்ப நன்றி அடுத்ததா ஒரு நல்ல ஆசிரியராகவும் மேற்பாளராகவும் இருந்து எங்களை கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக வழிநடத்த டாக்டர் பீட்டர் முரே ரஸ்ட்டுக்கு மிக்க நன்றி அடுத்து என்னோட சக இன்டர்ன்ஸ்க்கு டீம் ஸ்பிரிட்டாக செஞ்சதுக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் நன்றி இந்த ப்ராஜெக்டில் சேர நினச்சிங்கன்னா இந்த லிங்க்கில் இருக்கிற முன் தேவைகள் உங்களுக்கு இருக்கான்னு பார்த்துட்டு எங்களுக்கு சிவி சென்ட் பண்ணுங்கள் தேங்க்ஸ் ஹாய் ஐம் விஷாலி அரோரா ஐ எம் டூயிங் மாஸ்டர்ஸ் இன் பாட்டனி ஃப்ரம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஆஃப் டெல்லி இந்தியா இட்ஸ் மீன் சிக்ஸ் வீக்ஸ் வென் ஐ ஜாயின் திஸ் ப்ராஜெக்ட் I have been assigned the mini project Funders and Viral Epidemics. The scientific objective of this project is to find which funders are most active in funding viral epidemic research. So uh, since it's a digital knowledge based project, so I installed so many softwares. Some of them are Node, Get Papers, Amy and Nine, Jupyter Notebooks, R Graphics and many others. I have also created a dictionary of uh, dictionary funders which contain around 13000 entries it do not contain only the name of funders but also many attributes such as description wikidata ids and so many and i have been constantly working on refining my dictionary and adding more and more attributes to it to make it more useful also i am working on a corpus of 950 articles which i got from the get paper query and I have a uh, section my corpus also use the ME search tool and next I'm planning to uh, work more on my dictionary to uh, make it more useful by adding the attributes and also I'm planning to use Jupyter notebooks for machine learning and also uh, the R graphics uh, software for my data visualization and at last I would like to thank Peter Murerus and Geeta Yadav Uh, also my collaborator Simran Lin Singh without their help this was impossible thank you very much hello i am manisha arora and currently i am pursuing msc botany from osmania university hyderabad i joined this project 5 weeks ago and the mini project assigned to me is testing and tracing in viral epidemics 
the testing involves various tests which are done to diagnose a particular virus during an epidemic and tracing is really very important process to tackle the viral epidemics. In tracing, it actually involves contact tracing where the chain of transmission of infections is prevented by avoiding the contact of people who already came in contact with the diseased person by treating them by isolating them. So this is really important to tackle this problem. So I started my project by installing various softwares into my system like Get Papers, Maven, Java, uh, ME, R, Nime, etc. Through Get Papers, I downloaded a corpus of 250 papers, which right now I'm working on, and I create then I created a dictionary which using MEDIC, which involves various terms related to testing and tracing. Then we perform ME searching and ME sectioning of the paper by giving a specified command in the command form. So uh, talking about this project, it's an amazing project and I would like to thank Peter Mureros for being an amazing mentor and also Dr. Gitanjali Adar for giving me this opportunity to work for this, for this amazing project. Thank you very much. Hello. I am Prithu Rajan Karnagaran, Senior Undergrad Student in B.Tech Biotechnology at Dr. MGR Education Research Institute University, Chennai. I am working as an intern student in Open Virus Project under supervision of Dr. Geetanjali Yadav, Scientist V at National Institute of Plant Genomic Research, New Delhi and also a lecturer at University of Cambridge. Co-mentored by Dr. Peter Mureiras, Reader, Emirates of University of Cambridge. Open Virus is an aggregation of scholarly publication and extracted knowledge of virus and epidemics. The aim of this project is to collect all freely visible scientific or medical publications on COVID-19 and other viral epidemics to transform them to uniform form. Natural language processing and text mining are used so machine, machine can extract meaning from the articles. My role in this project is to test and documentation of the software. Well, my mini project is on scientific articles about drugs in virus and epidemics. Objective of my mini project is to build dictionaries of terms related to drugs and viral epidemics for search, classification and understanding. Also to find the mode of action of drugs, chemical formula with their regional names. My NIPJ internship gives viewers a clear roadmap to understand detailed information of drugs and viral epidemics. This internship helps me to understand, learn, data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. I would like to thank Dr. Geetanjali Yadav, Dr. Peter Mureiras and, and National Institute of Plant Genomic Research, New Delhi for giving this wonderful opportunity to work in this project. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Jutu Bhargav, Kare DST Fellow from Department of Botany, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. And, uh, I have successfully completed one month in INIA's online internship program and first of all I would like to thank Dr. Manush Karwar and Dr. Gitanjali Yadav for choosing me in this internship program and I would also like to thank Dr. Peter Mure and my mentor Karina Singh for excellent guidance and learnings. This internship program is a part of major India-UK collaboration and in this internship program I was selected for Open Virus Project. Open Virus Project is a large and very important project on viruses and epidemics, which is hosted by Dr. Peter Murray from University of Cambridge. In this project, my allotted mini project was viruses and viral epidemics. During this internship program, I learned about the basics of online tools and softwares like Get Papers, ME. European Permit, Central, Wikidata, and Sparkle Queries, etc. My work was mainly based on human viruses, which causes viral epidemics, and I prepared queries on these viruses. I downloaded some important softwares during this internship, like uh, Node, Git, Nime, and uh, Java, etc. And uh, in future, this internship will be very helpful for me to be understand new computational technologies and research methodologies and finally I am glad to be a part of this internship program and thanks to whole team of OpenVirus. Thank you. 
Greetings everyone, my name is Uja Vishwas and I'm a graduate student pursuing a degree in biotechnology from University of Rajasthan. I'm thankful to Karya for this opportunity provided via Indian National Young Academy of Sciences alias INYAS to contribute in this open source project of University of Cambridge called the Open Virus. Contributing to this project in this high time of pandemic was opportune and the lessons learned were apt for young scientific community of today. This internship introduced me to the utility that a computer can have for a biologist. It also introduced me to various softwares like Cat Papers, Amy, Sparkle and uh, many other tools that helps in organizing a corpus of research papers and various other data available in large databases on internet in this information age. We learn tabulation of dictionary, sectioning of paper and generation of desired information using Sparkle that will definitely aid a scientist in future. I worked on the mini project viral epidemics and drugs and began with an objective to create a dictionary consisting of drugs against viruses listing their local names in different countries and uh, differentiate them based on their mode of action so under the supervision of my supervisor and mentor i was able to learn all the tools and uh, methodology to achieve our goal and especially to test the softwares and to contribute in this mini project uh, which would provide information about the drugs against viruses and that too in a public domain. Uh, and thank you so much Dr. Peter and especially Dr. Gitanjali Yadav for providing me this opportunity, hoping to contribute in this field in future. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Dheeraj Kumar. I am now B.Sc. final year. I am now B.Sc. final year. आर आर कॉलेज अलवर से कर रहा हूँ इस इंटर्नशिप के लिए सबसे पहले मुझे गीता मैम और पी एम आर सर को धन्यवाद करना देना चाहिए क्योंकि उन्होंने ही मुझे यह अपॉर्चुनिटी दी है इस इंटर्नशिप की अगर आपको हम रफली जानकारी दें तो उसके हिसाब से हमें इंफॉर्मेशन को इकट्ठा करना है उन्हें फिल्टर करना है और अप्लाई करना है किसी पेज गिटअप पेज पर जैसे इस इंटर्नशिप में मेरा टॉपिक वायरल एपिडेमिक एंड डिजीज था उस पर मुझे डिक्शनरी बनानी थी डिक्शनरी को अपडेट करना था और पस और विकी डाटा क्वेरी की सहायता से अब मैं आपको यह बताता हूँ कि मैंने इस इंटर्नशिप के में क्या किया इस इंटर्नशिप में हमारी भूमिका सिर्फ एक टेस्टर की रही है अर्थात हमको एक चीज़ देखनी है एनालाइज करनी है और उसे वो गलत है तो उसे सही करके उसे पेज को अपलोड करना है मैंने गिट पेज को एडिट किया है गेट पेपर्स एम ई यू पी ए सी विकी डाटा क्वेरी के बारे में पढ़ा है उन्हें कैसे यूज़ करते हैं ये जाना है इसके अलावा इस इंटर्नशिप में मैंने विकी डाटा क्वेरी की सहायता से डिजीज़ के लिए हिंदी में प्राप्त किए तथा अपनी डिजीज़ की डिक्शनरी को अपडेट करने के लिए आई सी डी टेन कोड्स डिजीज़ के डिस्क्रिप्शन डिजीज़ के लिए यू आर एल आदि प्राप्त किए इस इंटर्नशिप में अगला एम एल टेक्निक यूज़ करना है और मैं फिर से गीता मैम और पी एम आर सर को धन्यवाद देना चाहूँगा My name is Simran Singh and I am currently pursuing MSc Chemistry from Government Engineering College, Pekane, Rajasthan. So I joined the Open Virus project four weeks back, and it is a software-related project. I am really thankful to Dr. Peter Mulligar sir and Dr. Gitanjali Yadav ma'am and my mentor Vishali Arora for their continuous support and guidance. Talking about my contribution in this mini project, so I basically contributed for refining my dictionaries. So my dictionary contains uh, the information about my mini project my mini project was based on viral epidemic and funders so my dictionary contains the name of the funders which fund the viral epidemic so i refined my dictionaries to contain only the names of the viral epidemic and funders basically the funders not anything else i ran some queries on sparkle service query so basically it is based on a wikidata page so i wrote some queries 
uh, to find out various funders which fund the viral epidemic in different countries and nearly I got about 13,000 results which fund the viral epidemic. Finally, I classified the part of the corpus. Corpus is a collection of research papers. I took a part of a corpus meaning 50 papers and classified them on the basis of true positive and false positive meaning if they contain the information about the uh, viral epidemic and funders or not. I manually read all the papers and classified them on the basis of true positive and false positive so it could be used in machine learning techniques. Actually I was a bit nervous for this project because this project was based on software and computational skills which I am not good at. But eventually with the help of my mentor and my coordinator I was able to get that including the platform which this project was based on like github and slack. I want to say that it was a very fun project and in future I would love to work in many such projects. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Pooja Parikh and I am a student of MSc Microbiology from Maharaja Ganga Singh University, Bikkanev. So first of all, I am really very thankful to DST and Inyas as well for providing me such a great opportunity. So here is my 4 week internships experience. So jo mera topic tha, wo tha about viral epidemics and countries and my mentor was Embrin. I am really very thankful to my mentor also. So his project ka jo main purpose tha, wo tha to contain all the information at one place. This ki wajay se wo sab ke liye easy to understand ho or also wo sab ke liye easy to reach ho. So iske liye mujhe kuch basic softwares ki need thi apne system mein. So I have installed these all the softwares with the help of link that was provided on GitHub page. और वहाँ पे कुछ टेस्टर्स ने अपने एक्सपीरियंस भी लिखे हुए थे जिसकी वजह से इन सॉफ्टवेयर्स को सिस्टम में इंस्टॉल करना और इजी हो गया था। सो आफ्टर द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर, आई हैव लर्न्ड दिस ऑल द थिंग्स। सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आई हैव लर्न्ड अबाउट हाउ टू यूज़ दिस ऑल सॉफ्ट I have learned how to create a corpus. Corpus means कि articles का एक ऐसा group जिसमें सारे articles respective topics से related हो. Then I have learned how to use ME search and ME section on this corpus. So after that I have learned how to create a dictionary using this text file also using a Sparkle query with the help of Wikidata. इसके अलावा मैंने सीखा how to differentiate between true positive and false positive. So अगर कोई article actual में viral epidemic से related है, so then we will put that in true positive. और अगर नहीं है, so then we will put that in false positive. ये सारे इन सब के instructions के टाइप page पे available थे, जिसकी वजह से इन्हें समझना easy हो गया था. That's all about my four week internships experience, and I really had an amazing time. So thank you so much.